Brittany here from Lo and Behold Stitchery and this tutorial is to demonstrate how to chain piece your rows. So I am demonstrating this in my Patchwork Squares quilt pattern. It's a free quilt pattern that you can download from my website and basically I have one segment of my squares laid out here. I have five rows of 10 squares. So this is going to be just a small little segment of my finished quilt top. Basically, I've laid everything out how I want it to appear within my quilt. And then what I'm going to do is start over here on the left side, and I'm gonna put these two squares right sides together. And then I'm going to repeat that to create this column like this. So then I am going to start at the top and stack my squares like so. And then I am going to put this right beside my sewing machine. Then I am going to simply stack all of my squares and get them ready for sewing as well. But I really want to make sure that I do it in a methodical way. So I always start up here in the top left corner and then I just stack them on top of each other like this. So I'm making sure that they stay in order. When I get to the bottom, I'm going right back up to the top and just stacking all of my squares. Okay, so now I have this stack of squares, and if you are nervous about maybe switching up the order of your squares, if this is maybe your first time trying this, I recommend taking a picture of your layout before you get started. That way, if you mess something up or get things out of order, you can go back to your original layout and make sure that you have everything in order. So now I am going to head to my sewing machine. So I have two stacks of squares here. I have my first stack where I placed my first two squares in each row right sides together. And then I have my second stack of squares, which is just all of the rest of my squares stacked together. So I'm gonna set this aside for now and just start with this stack. So again, these two pieces of fabric were in the top left corner of my quilt segment. So I'm gonna put them right sides together Start sewing on a leader piece of fabric. This is just to catch all of those first few stitches that can sometimes be a little bit messy. And then I'm gonna use a quarter inch seam and sew these squares together. Okay, so then I have my next two squares. I'm gonna sew those together. followed by my next two squares. So basically I'm just stitching right off of my previous seam and then on to my next seam. My next two squares. And then my final two squares. Okay, and then once I am done with that stack, I'm going to snip my threads. And then I have something that looks like this. So I'm going to snip off this leader thread. Okay, so now I have my first and second squares in all five of my rows and they're connected by this little chain of stitches and I'm going to wait to snip that at the very end. So now I'm gonna start sewing and then I'm going to take this stack and keep it close by and so the first 
square that's on the stack is going to go up here. So I'm gonna place it right sides together and then sew that. And then the next square will go here. Followed by the next square. So now I have the first three squares sewn together in all five of my rows. So then I will repeat this process starting at the top again. And if you're working with a pattern that maybe has half square triangles or something that makes a difference whether or not the square is turned in the correct direction, then I would maybe just keep the pattern close by and make sure that your squares do not get rotated whenever you're putting them in this pile because you really wanna make sure that as you're chain piecing, you're sewing things in the proper orientation. Since these are just squares, it doesn't really matter which way it's rotated unless I really want my birds to all face a similar direction. So for the most part, any way that it's rotated is perfectly fine. But again, if you are using something like half square triangles where it does matter which direction that half square triangle is rotated, keep the pattern close by and make sure that you keep it oriented correctly within this pile. And as you are placing it right sides together, double check and make sure that it is oriented in the correct direction. And as your rows get longer, you'll notice that you might have to shift your fabrics a little bit more because gravity is going to try to pull these rows into a certain direction. So you wanna just make sure that there isn't a lot of excess pull or drag because you really want this seam to be as straight and square as possible. So that was my last one. Now let's trim all of these chain stitches. Okay, so I have all of my five rows and I still have my stitches that are connecting each row. So what I'm going to do is just go in and trim each little chain of stitches. for every single row. Okay, so now I have each individual row and then I just need to press my seams. For this pattern, I am going to press the entire row in one direction and then for the next row, I'm going to press those seams in the opposite direction. So if I press all of these seams to the right, then I'll press all of these seams to the left and then that will create nesting seams. So I'll alternate the direction that I press the seams from row to row. That way all of my seams will lay nice and flat and then whenever I go to sew the rows together, they will line up perfectly. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial on how to chain piece your rows. Thanks so much for watching and have a good rest of your day.